I have the spirometer, pulse ox, smell tank for the um, cranial nerves, got my little plastic cover guy for the ears, reflexes, tongue depressor, um, cotton swabs, and um, the gauze. And then I'm going to wash my hands. And then when Allie, when Allie comes in, I'm going to check the knee, all the identifiers. And when she's walking in, I assess her gait. She looks pretty normal. She's got good hygiene. Um, she doesn't look like she's really uncomfortable. Pretty good state of health. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Can I get you to say your name and your birthday? Allie Taylor, 1115. Okay, great. Why don't you just hop up on this table? Um, I'm Bailey. I'll be doing your, your assessment today. We're just going to do quick vital signs first, and then I'm going to go ahead and go through the whole head, head to toe assessment. Now, as she does the blood pressure, I will have a double stethoscope and I will be listening to make sure that she gets the correct blood pressure and she'll state what the blood pressure is. This guy's just going to stick right underneath your tongue, and these are really small, so they come up slowly. Just hold it underneath your tongue. Just go like that. This is a really slow heart. This is a really slow heart. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll lift and just sit this right here, so rest, and I'm going to take the pulse. You guys can just sit there. Temperature was 77.0. And let's quick do your pulse ox. Can I have your index finger, please? Thank you. And this just measures the, the blood or the oxygen in your blood. So anywhere from 95 to 100 is perfectly normal. Just takes a couple seconds. Check your cranial nerves. Um, and we're gonna start with the smell. So when I, I want you to close your eyes and then push this under or brush this underneath your nose and just tell me what you smell, okay? Good job. Alright, and now we're gonna do a little bit of ice. Look at your eyes, and turn this light off. And I just want you to look straight ahead. I'm just gonna check your pupils that the way they constrict, okay? Now we're going to check if 
your eyes follow my finger, okay? All right, so just keep your, your eyes on my finger, and I'm just going to move it up and down, left and right, and come back to the center every time, okay? So come back towards the center and see if it. There you go. Perfect. All right. Um, and let's see. Do you have any problems chewing? No? Any, any problems swallowing at all? Okay. Can't get you to smile, click your cheeks, and can't get you to stick your tongue out, wag it left and right. Perfect. All right. Um, and now, when I'm going to touch this on your face, you close your eyes. And when you, you tell me when you can feel it, okay? kind of ulcers or redness um, or making sure that the, the, her, nice, her cheeks are nice and pink um, and the, the teeth that okay. are good. <laughs> Absolutely. Good um, job. Okay. And I think that's pretty much gets all of those. Um, can I get you to shrug your shoulders for me? Okay. And then can you push into my hand? Okay. And then push into my other hand. Good. All right. Um, do you have any problems breathing? Any shortness of breath, cough, um, do you smoke? Okay. Um, do you have any family history of any kind of lung disease or anything? No? Okay. We're going to um, look and <coughs> check, your, um, check your lungs and just see how they sound. I'm just going to get you to quick say, um, say 99 for me once. 99. Okay. Okay. 99. Perfect. And now I'm going to get you to take a deep breath. Good expansion, symmetrical expansion. Um, and no, no accessory muscles used when she's breathing. She's breathing pretty normally, pretty easily. Um, all right, I'm just going to listen to your lungs real fast. So, um, but I'm just going to go under the pressure. Can you just take a deep breath for me? through the rest of them, listen to all the rest of them, um, and go, just quick go through them all. Um, I'm not going to take off all of this. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to listen to her heart and just check and make sure her heart sounds good. So um, you just breathe normally and just rest. Sounds good. You can hear S1 and S2 pretty easily. Um, we, um, yep, you, that sounds good. There's no, no abnormal sound with your lungs. Um, you did the bronco testicular right here, and then the testicular down at the bottom, and then the bronchial up at the top that you would listen to in your trachea. Um, and let's see. Um, I'm going to percuss your back. Um, just to see if I can hear if your lungs sound sound normal, okay? And I want to hear a resonance. Everything sounds pretty good. All right. Um, when, now we're going to go through and just check all your pulses. And then um, take your cap where you fell. And take your shoes off real fast. <laughs> and your socks, sorry. Okay. Okay, everyone 
it sounds pretty good. Feels pretty good. Bailey, yes, ma'am. Um, what I'd like for you to do is, um, it would be better to check the lower pulses when she's laying down. Okay. So maybe once you lay down, lay her down, you'll be able to feel the femoral in a real assessment. You need she needs to be laying okay. down, and you'll feel the femoral pulses really well when she's laying down. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, you can lay down if you want. <laughs> Feels good in her toes. Um, capillary re normal capillary rebuild. Yes, ma'am. It's under under three seconds, um, so she's she's good with that. Um, you can feel all the pulses or all the. Yep, these ones feel good too. Um, <laughs> and the whole time I'm not going through, I'm just sort of looking over her skin. Um, I haven't noticed any skin lesions, anything abnormal so far. Um, her skin is warm. It's not super clammy. It's you know just normal boy skin. Um, trigger looks pretty good. And she uh, doesn't have any abrasions or anything. All right, so I'm gonna um, gonna listen to your stomach. But before I do, do you have any you know problems with um, bleeding, urination, anything with bowel movements? Everything's normal. Okay. Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's just listen to your tummy real fast. Normal bowel sounds in every quadrant. Um, couldn't hear any breweries in the abdominal aorta, which is good. When was your um, last bowel movement? When you were asking about bowel sounds. When was your last bowel movement? <laughs> um, if you don't mind us. Yesterday. That's okay. When you, when you ask about bowel habits, you have to ask yeah. for when the last bowel movement was. Okay. okay. And yeah, you could hear um, bowel sounds in all four quadrants. They were normal. Um, you can't hear any within the first couple of seconds. You have to listen for five minutes. Um, Very good. And let's see. Um, do you have any pain in your stomach? I'm just going to yeah. kind of feel around real fast. Um, sorry, my hands are cold. Try not to tickle you too much. Okay. No abnormal feelings. And we're just going to do a quick percussion. This is your tympani of the abdomen. Sounds good. All right. Um, and can I actually get you to stand up now? We're just going to check your kind of range of motion and all that stuff. So, off the bed? Okay. Now, can you take um, a couple steps forward to me with heel to toe? Perfect. All right. And then, can you stand with your ankles together, arms out, eyes closed? Yep, you can do that. That's good. <laughs> um, can you lift your legs up, move your arms? I'm sorry, I'll come do this. Okay, full range of motion um, with that. And let's hop back up there and check your reflexes. Okay, and then check this one. No, it doesn't happen. It's a hard one. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. <laughs> um, and is there anything else that you, um, any other questions? You're pretty, seem pretty healthy. You sound pretty good. You look pretty good. Um, you do normal breaths each day every year, or every month, sorry. So <laughs> <laughs> um, that's good. Um, anything else I can answer for you? Can I get you anything? I'm good. All right, well, you look great. Can I uh, lay you back down, make you comfortable? Put the bed on guardrails up. And close your eyes. Come back out, wash my hands. Document my findings. Clean your stethoscope. Clean my stethoscope. With an alcohol wipe. Yep. Okay. And you have like two minutes.